being a part of the global health concentration has really enriched my epidemiology training um, in that it forces you to think about the big picture. Um, so I am in epidemiology of microbial diseases where um, I'm mostly focusing on HIV AIDS. So um, while I get the biological perspective from my core division, I really, from the global health concentration classes, I get more of the policy oriented. Um, because the developing world is where I think the, the most uh, egregious environmental health um, injustices lay. And so through my coursework in global health, I've been able to, to get a better feeling of how one might go about addressing um, environmental health concerns. One of the reasons in, why I really love global health is the room to be creative. Um, there's a lot of room to be creative and a lot of room to sort of bring in elements of different other aspects of my studies. Um, so like right now I'm taking a chronic disease epidemiology class, um, a psychosocial epidemiology class, and I find myself taking certain elements of that class and combining it with the health policy work, looking at it in the global context. Um, and I feel like the global health concentration in particular really allows me to bring in all elements of my study, both from my undergraduate and my graduate studies. But as people are living longer in developing countries, chronic disease is becoming more and more of an issue, and the burden is actually in the developing world right now. So although it might not be what you first think of when you think of global health, um, there is definitely a place for research, whether it be in hypertension or diabetes or cancer. Um, on the, the opportunities here um, are second to none. Like, if anything you want to do here, it's available for you. You really just have to seek out that opportunity and take advantage. And I think that has been a surprise for me, just the amount of resources available. So I'll be working for the World Health Organization. I'm working on their communication strategy for non-communicable diseases. Um, and I'll be working in their South Pacific Regional Office in uh, Suva, Fiji. So I'll be there for 10 weeks uh, working on nutrition, obesity, non-communicable disease. Um, I'll also be able to work in their schools, hopefully work directly with some of the children and teachers. Um, so I'm really excited. It's the joint course between the School of Public Health and Forestry uh, was a course in which we consulted for uh, Hopi to Albert Schweitzer down in Haiti. Um, they've been having uh, quite a few issues regarding, um, regarding environmental health, uh, regarding their hospital intake and infrastructure and data management system. Uh, and you so know, they, uh, based on the information they'd given us, based on some teleconferences, based on some, with the, some teleconferences with the hospital, um, and based on um, some special guest expert speakers that we had visit, uh, what exactly their problems might be. Then we went down over so spring break and actually having this community where um, you know we are all invested in the same things, um, it's incredible because we really get a wonderful perspective. I, mean, I love it. I, I love the students, I love the teachers. I can't imagine a better program or a better fit for me. Yale School of Public Health is a good place. Uh,